Welcome to Integrity and Self-Love, Part 7 of this 12-part Wisdom Series. These teaching programs are made possible by your own world books, publishers of the Colbrin Bible and God's Child Covenant by Marshall Masters. Please feel free to share complete and unedited copies of these programs with others. For more information, visit virtualserenity.com. In a survival sense, integrity is the magic that makes our inner compass work, and work it must if we are to endure future travails. Modern societies often use pragmatic concepts such as covenants and contracts to give a working meaning to the term integrity. With this in mind, we'll use these pragmatic concepts as our point of reference. In simple terms, a covenant is a pledge, something you say you will do without expecting something in return from someone else. You could say that a covenant is essentially an unconditional promise, such as when two people pledge their undying love to each other. A contract, on the other hand, is something you promise with an expectation of return. Ergo, contracts are conditional, which explains why they rely on pragmatic language such as caveat emptor, buyer beware, or in other words, read the fine print before you sign on the dotted line. To make these two pragmatic concepts work, we keep them separate from each other as much as is humanly possible. But what happens when they do collide? Well, imagine that someone has given you a covenant of his or her undying love, and then asks you to sign a one-sided prenuptial contract. Is this true love? Not really. This is because true love is unconditional. Simply put, it is what we do for others with integrity and without expectation of return. Even so, there is a cosmic return that transcends any material expectation, because integrity is the ultimate expression of self-love. This is why it flows within us, like a perpetual wellspring of psychological and spiritual stamina. A harmonious balance of true love and integrity attracts the loyalties of others within small survival communities. In these pressed circumstances, justice will be swift because your deeds will judge you, and there will be no lengthy appeals. This is because others will quickly see your integrity, or lack of it, and they will not be dissuaded. They will trust your wisdom and know that your word is your bond, or not. This is why these teachings of the Elohim are so vital for 2012, a time when love and integrity will be the very stuff of survival itself. Welcome, we are the Elohim. Today we will talk to you of integrity, truth, and responsibility. Integrity is a word to describe an individual's character as how they operate not only with themselves, but with others in the workplace, their family, their friends. 
we would say to each and every one of you who are listening to this to check where you stand on integrity are you operating out of integrity or are you looking for a return on your action or if you are looking for a return a benefit a pleasure on an action or a deed then you are not in integrity when we speak to you of truth truth is an objective and can be a subjective term to each of you who are listening to this if you have a knowing which is not the same as belief or faith but if you have a true knowing of who you are and what your purpose is and you do not sway from that even amidst opposition dissension or even those who do not think in the same way that you do and you stand within that moment that means you are standing in your truth standing in truth and integrity is the job of each and every one of you in the times forthcoming or as the times get more chaotic more confusing more violent more upsetting there will be many who will tell you what the truth is they are not in integrity or they have an agenda which in some cases can be fear and in other cases can be very cold manipulative and deceptive by purpose there comes a responsibility that each and every one of you must take to yourself and that is to check if you are in integrity check if you are standing in your truth and let it sway you not others opinions action that they may take upon you whether it be physical or verbal or when the time comes you must be in your place of knowing which is your truth and stand in the integrity we thank you In the difficult years ahead, love will be the unconditional acts we do to help others, and integrity will be the private measure of our own self-love. There will be no fine print, lengthy contracts, or midnight deals struck behind closed doors. None of this shall matter when there is no time for human foolishness only the time for that which works to the betterment of all. If you say, I love myself, then examine your integrity. Look hard enough so it can stare right back at you, and then you will know it for what it is. Understand your own integrity, 
and you will know if you are expressing unconditional love for others as a true person. Be a true person and you will be dearly loved. Be otherwise and others will quickly marginalize you. Should that be your fate, you may wake up one day to find yourself all alone with nothing but your lack of integrity to keep you company. This will be the cost of dishonesty in 2012 and the years beyond. In the next teaching, we will come to understand the true relationship between love and fear. These teaching programs are made possible by your own world books, publishers of the Colbrin Bible and God's Child Covenant by Marshall Masters. The Colbrin Bible is a two-part wisdom text. This secular anthology offers the wisdom of hundreds of ancient authors and the many harbinger signs of their prophecies are now converging on 2012. God's Child Covenant is a romantic action drama set against a global tribulation. It offers a realistic yet hopeful vision for the future because 2012 will be less about what is in your bunker and more about what is in your heart. A printed transcript of this entire teaching series is available. For more information, visit virtualserenity.com.